Hi there. I wonder whether you'd like to come sacred walking with me. And um, I'm up here in the mountains in Wales. Whether you're on a beach in Portugal with the sun, or whether you're just in your suburban street or city park, sacred walking is something that can, well, transform your experience and, um, of life into a meditation of amazing proportions. So um, that's west. It's a good idea to know which direction is which when you're sacred walking because each direction has its own purpose. So let's head north towards the Pole Star, here in the Northern Hemisphere at least. And that's a direction that takes us to the still point about which everything else revolves inside. So um, I'd like to invite you to just be inside yourself, be free, and um, perhaps you will have put your headphones on and be listening to me as you're walking, or even there's an audio track that goes with this. Maybe you're just with your headphones on and just listening. So as you're walking, let's do the first bit of listening. That's listening to your body. So um, just be very aware of its physicality. I'm walking on a big grassy plain, mountains in the background just like that. And my body is walking in a way that's gentle upon it. I can feel my feet touching the ground, my knees moving inside my trousers, hips moving, spine. How's your spine? It's a good idea for your spine to be a beautiful, upright, flexible support to the upper part of your body. Not stiff, open and free. How's your shoulders and how's your arms? All of this enables you to be fully present. So yeah, there's a good thought. What's it like to be simply with your breathing as you're walking? I'm going up a slight income so in incline, so you might hear my breathing becoming a little bit stronger. How's yours? And are you breathing with full breath? Or are you breathing with any part of your breath? Sacred walking starts with holding your relationship with your body to be sacred. And as you begin to be fully aware of your body as it's walking, let's now be aware of the space around us. What's the space around you like? My space contains Mount Snowden, that's it over there. But your space, your space will contain something that is miraculously full of life if you take the time to gaze and be aware of it. There'll be trees, there'll be people. One of those people will have a smile. What does that smile represent? What about the sounds around you? You can hear children playing, wind rustling in the leaves, birds, your own footfall. The second part of sacred walking involves being aware of the place, the space, the time around you. There's a thought. How about the unfolding time around you? the way the leaves change with the season, the way the birds move from place to place and eventually migrate. Here I am, a spark of awareness, traveling in a body through time and space on an incarnation we call human. And so now, what about the space that you're in? Let's be aware of the field this space contains. Perhaps there's a really beautiful tree near you, or like me, mountains that touch the sky, at least as far as that can be done in the UK. Maybe there's a quiet place 
a little grassy knoll or hollow in the park nearby you. What's the field like in such places? Is it quieter? Is it vigorous? Is it something that wakes you up and makes you feel vibrant and alive? If you walk past a great oak tree or a beautiful big beech or any tree that has presence, could you open yourself to allow the beauty of that tree to somehow infuse the beauty of the field around you? Could you let the earth beneath you somehow feel as if it's a living ocean of support and nourishment? What's it like for you if your own field touches the earth with each footstep in such a way that it leaves a enduring feeling of kindness or even love or possibly even joyous gratitude. How's that ever walked with joyous gratitude? Let's explore sacred walking through the koshas. We've done your physical space and the field of your pranamaya kosha. What's it like in the field of your energy and motion? Emotions, motivations, those beautiful forces that make our lives so rich and passionate. What's it like if you exchange some kindness with the world around you? If you send a burst of joy to a tree as you pass it, or to some of the people that you pass, even if you don't change your facial structures and you send a burst of kindness and care and recognition, do they smile without knowing why? This is sacred walking. Suppose you're on a beach, the sun is shining and it's just so glorious. The waves perhaps from the ocean gently rolling in Could you allow those waves to roll in with a sense of kindness towards you? Could they roll with a sense of, well, joyous delight in life? How's that big splash? <laughs> Great big burst of joy. You can walk, this may sound strange, but you can make your life and your living footsteps a pathway into the sacred simply by choosing to exchange emotional care with the world around you. And then what about the choice of the direction you're taking? There's my feet making their way carefully across the ground. There's the shadow that always follows me in the sun. And there's the view that's always beyond the shadow. Suppose now that you choose to simply be, simply know that you are a being of truth, a spark of light, perhaps even a daughter or son of the divine, walking, walking, being nourished and supported by this remarkable world we live in, as well perhaps as being someone who gives and leaves behind footprints of care and concern wherever you are. Maybe you can walk tall in this way. Maybe you can walk with kindness and dignity and perhaps even nobility. What's it like to have a noble walk? And with that I leave you to contemplate the beauty of sacred walking 
and to enjoy being fully present in all of the layers of your being. May your walking be something that is truly incredible.